Okay. We are on a mission today. We are getting props from my ASMR videos. You guys don't have an ASMR channel that I'm obsessed with. And it does really well. It only has like 160,000 subscribers. Not only. It has 160,000 subscribers. It's gained like 70,000 subscribers this year alone. And um, yeah, it does really, really well. People really like it. I love doing them because they're like role plays. I get to like wear costumes and stuff. And they're so much fun. So I'm here at Walgreens. And I'm about to do my Elizabeth Holmes cosplay. So I need a Walgreens bag and red lipstick. Because I don't have red lipstick. Um, Moses is doing some work at home. And then he's going to help me do the setup for my ASMR because he's really good at like set design. I literally went out in pajamas because whenever I'm not with Moses, I like to look as unapproachable as possible, not for subscribers. I mean, I will look like this if you come up to me, but more for, um, more for just random people. If you're a female presenting person, you know, not that guys obviously can't be approached by weirdos, but when you present female, you get a lot more unwanted attention. So I try to look as unapproachable as possible, but even this, even this little outfit, someone's gonna say something inappropriate and try to hit on me, tell me I have pretty eyes. It, it, it's not fun. <laughs> Trust me, that's not a humble break. It's, is this open? Yeah, it's open. Okay, this was the closest Walgreens and it was really far from me actually. It's like two two or three towns over, so yeah. Don't like this though. Look at these nail selections. My nails are horrible at the moment. And these press-ons, they're locked in. I'm trying to get like these, they're so cute. I already got my makeup in there, got my makeup, but these are so cute, I need to get all of them. I secured the Walgreens bag. Yeah, I came to Walgreens to get, you know, the bag. And to get the red lipstick, it's $100. I also have a bunch of press ons. Maybe the press ons are expensive. I gotta look up my receipt. If you give me a receipt, I also rounded up. It was Red Nose Day, so <laughs> gotta round up. Red Nose Day. Walgreens. Ah, my belly. I feel pregnant today. I feel like I can't breathe. Also, my purse broke in there. Always lock your doors when you get in. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my purse broke in there. What well, kind of? So basically, um, let me tap my card in there. It, like this, I had a plastic bag that I carried my green needles in like this, and it basically got stuck in the zipper and I was like panicking cause I couldn't get it open and I was trying to pay with my card. And yeah, my bag's basically broken. I basically can't zip it back. I mean, I'm sure Moses could like get that out, but <sighs> this was a good bag. It's a good pregnancy bag cause it's really lightweight, but honestly, I'm kind of over it. I like it, but I'm over it. I can't find the water. I'm so thirsty. I feel pregnant today. Like, I feel really out of breath. Which is not good. I need to work out more. All right, so here's my Walgreens receipt. Oh, it's expensive. Um, because at the end of it all, let's see here. It was like $116. Um... I guess it just all adds up. Wait, what? Okay, let's do the math here because this like doesn't look that expensive. So my body wash was like, I'm running it up. It's like $5.29, but $6. All the nails were only $8.29. So I'm going to this up to $9. I got two of those. So 18 plus six is what, 24? Oh, the, I got this like foundation. I got two because I didn't know I'm tan or pale. I was like, it's like a surprise. Sorry, I have to start in time a lot because I have such a bad heartburn. Ugh. I have the worst heartburn. That is like the only pregnancy system, system that I have that, besides the stuff you know. That's just like, it's just more annoying. It's, it's fine, but. So nine, so that's nine. So I was at 18 plus six, which is 24. So now there's two of those for $15. So that's $54, okay. Then another nail set was $7.79, so that's $8. So that's, you know, what are we at, like? 60 my charitable donation was a dollar 61 oh the powders were expensive only nine the lipsticks were like okay this makes sense the lipsticks were like the crayon was 13 dollars the regular red lipstick was 11 dollars and the powder puff were 13 dollars each i guess that makes sense i'm not doing all that math but dang well these were the nails i ended up getting i do use these for my asmr these actually like last a really long time. I actually put them on for ASMR before we went down to Disneyland. And I ended up wearing them for like two days. I think like 
you know, once I get showered and stuff, you know, like, you know, once you get them wet underneath, they're like probably not so great, but um, they last a long time and I thought these were really cute and they're actually a really good deal. I've been buying mine off Etsy for like $50. Granted, they're really beautiful nails, but I also got Dial Soap Coconut Water. They, there's another one in blue that's, um, it's like a different, it's called like Gentle Wash or something. So it's like rare to find the coconut water and it smells so good. And then my freaking lipsticks, jeez. I got red lipsticks. I don't know. I I thought I had them at my house. I've been throwing. I threw out so much makeup like a while ago, and then these things were expensive. So hopefully these are good. These are L'Oreal. I have to do a little video on this. I guess see if they're worth it. But yeah, I got pale. I don't know. Um, I was using the Kat Von D locket, and I feel like that kind of broke my skin out because I didn't really do any dietary changes. So I think that broke my skin out. But anyways, all right, we're gonna drive now and get my green juice. I can't even drink the green juice. Um, because, you know, it's kind of like, you kind of chance it when being pregnant, like if they really clean, you know, the vegetables. I used to do it at the beginning of my pregnancy and then someone told me like, you know, those kind of juices are bad because like, you just don't know if they're like, the vegetables are clean. They could have like little pesticides on them or something. So I'm really just getting it literally for prop purposes to tap on and swish in my ASMR. And that is my, me being dedicated to my ASMR channel. Gotta, gotta, you gotta go all in, you know, gotta go full character. Um, and no one hit on me. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but like, and, and I'm like, I know I'm like, look, you know what I mean? But like, I swear everywhere I go when I'm out without Moses, it's like literally like, I mean, I was literally with Moses at the baseball game. I mean, I'm great. I didn't look pretty at the baseball game, but like I was standing in line for nachos because like, he was getting like, um, popcorn and nachos. Um, cause I wanted popcorn at the other place and he was getting his, oh, he was getting hot dog and popcorn and he's getting hot dog. And we were like, literally just like apart like this far. And this guy behind me is like, excuse me, I'm not trying to hit on you or anything, but you have like really pretty eyes. But honestly, even when I look like this, like if I'm pumping gas by myself, well, I don't really pump gas by myself, but I'm going in to get a snack, let's be honest, at a gas station by myself. Like I literally, people will comment about my legs and my legs are not good. I'm, I know I'm just, and it's just unwanted attention period. But now that I'm like married and like, do you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's always just unwanted anyways. It's just annoying. I can be like so frumpy and people still, it's just like, and I know it's not just me. I know there's like, I mean, probably if you're female presenting in any way, like you probably have been harassed, like 99.9% chance you've been harassed or at least unwanted attention, which kind of is harassment, but all right, let's go get this juice. Safely made it to our final destination. Those movies scare me. I've never seen them, but it scares me. We were watching Lost, so I feel very like, I don't know paranormal I guess the monsters I got to get me okay we made it to Whole Foods I have to pee I have to pee so much I drink a lot of water but also I'm 20 weeks pregnant I'm really feeling it more <laughs> I feel it I may not look it but I definitely feel it this car's about to hit me Whole Foods I dropped my phone and I feel like it's not recording right now. Like recording properly. Alright. Juice plate looks empty. This is good. Good news. Juice secured. I can't even drink it. I'm a, I'm a little over. I think I'm like overly paranoid. I mean, yes, I know I eat fast food from time to time. So I'm sure this, but like I'm worried about like the bugs. I feel like fast food is fried, it kills any harmful anything. Sometimes I'm a little over, but got a large juice. It smells good. I haven't had large juice in so long. I know I just made like a stink face, but it actually smells good. <sighs> I miss celery juices. I got a full on green so you see the color. All right, now we go home, shower, and do my makeup. It's literally so funny. This is my job. <laughs> and it's been my job for over 15 years to play dress up and make believe. It's crazy. But, um, sorry, there's someone walking right in front of my car. And it's so much fun. I'm so, I'm so, so, so blessed. Every day I get things. I've always given thanks. Before I knew what gratitude meant, I've always given thanks for having this job. This heartburn is severe today. I keep starting and something. It's like, we're crazy. And I only drink water. I don't even drink like crazy anymore. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, every day I get to do this. Even, like, the older I get, you know, you're just like, dang, I still get to do this job and, like, 
I'm also very lucky I get to like reinvent myself let me part before I readjust you um you know like this is ASMR right this is my wave I'm riding this this year and you know would love for it to go on for a couple years you know I started ASMR in 2015 on on my main channel my Bonds on Delform J channel and then I did the like a no talking ASMR channel I started that in like 2019 at the end of 2019 um and I really loved doing it and then I kind of like strayed and that channel became like tons of different things like it became a podcast it became mental health it became spiritual it became so many different things and then I went back to ASMR and it's doing really well so like this is like a wave I'm writing and it's, and it's re does does really really well so um and again I like to do it like I get to do like props and stuff again which is just like a a form on YouTube that doesn't really exist anymore like skits and costumes and scripts and stuff like that so I don't script anything everything I do is improv <laughs> improv as I'm just a really good improver um but I love these movies and these characters like we binged the drop out on Hulu and I kind of became obsessed with like the character Elizabeth Holmes I don't know anything about the person or really the story well now I know the story but I think she's interesting <laughs> as does a lot of people obviously she had a freaking Hulu show made about her and so I was like yeah do that cosplay uh no one asked for this one this is one i'm just doing all on my own i don't know i just you know you watch something like i said i'm into lost right now i really want to cosplay hurley and saeed <laughs> with um with moses because I, I kind of okay can i be honest why i'm getting into lost is because because of saeed on the show naveen andrews he plays sunny in the dropout and moses knows right y'all know i'm married i got a husband who i'm in love with i'm obsessed with and everything like but he knows I have, like, celebrity, I guess you could call them obsessions. I guess you could say they're crushes because you're, like, oh, they're kind of cute. And I love, like, you love their acting. So, I guess they're, like, celebrity crushes. But, like, obviously, I don't know the person. In I don't know anything about that actor in real life. I know his name is Naveen Andrews. I did do some research on him. I know he had, like, a kid when he was really young. Like, I know a little bit about him from Wikipedia. But, um, but I go through these phases. And as long as you guys have watched me, I don't know how long that is. But I can guarantee I've gone through at least a dozen or more probably 100 phases of actors and all my friends know this my family has known this since I was like literally a little girl I'd go through my Michael Jackson phase Justin Timberlake Donny Osmond Tom Jones and some phases stick right some like Donny Osmond and me we're still that's my that's my crush you know that's my obsession um but you guys have seen recently my Gerard Way phase my Brad Pitt phase I had a Zac Efron phase like most recently was Andrew Garfield <laughs> you guys I'm in so many movies and Andrew Garfield has a new show on Hulu called like Under the Banner Heaven or something a heaven or something. He's like a Mormon detective I think and it does look good and I was like you don't want to watch the Andrew Garfield one because he's like a supportive right he's always just like like with Gerard Way he like I'm gonna chop stick because my left eye you know he like he like gets it like because I don't think many people do the most people be like that's weird you're like obsessing over these people or whatever Oh no, do I not have any chapstick in here? I do. Um, but it's it's just different. I don't know how to explain it. Like I've like if I were to see these people like the Adam Sandler, if I were to see these people like in public, I wouldn't go up to them ever. Even when I used to go to book signings as like a like 14 year old where it's like it's literally a meet and greet to go up and get a picture and an autograph with somebody, I would go with like my dad because he lived in California, so he would take me to those things. And <laughs> I like wouldn't want to go up because I didn't want to like bother them. Like I'm just, you know what I mean? Like, so it's a, it's a weird thing. It's not like I'm like actively trying to be friends with these people or anything like that. I guess Quentin Tarantino, maybe I tried to like be friends with, I, I, no, I definitely wasn't friends with him, but like I was always like showing up, you know what I mean? Which is kind of maybe weird hindsight. I'm sure it is like thinking about it now, but what are you going to do? Um, so my new one is Nevin Andrews. Um, and I just, I just loved him in the dropout. Like, I didn't even know who he was. He didn't look familiar to me or anything. Um, but then I did look him up and I didn't know, I did not know him from Lost. Obviously, I remember when Lost was out, did not watch it. But I kind of remembered him on the show. Just like, you know, you see the cast, you're like, oh, I kind of remember those people. However, I do remember him. Hold on, hold on, pregnancy heartburn again. I'm really trying not to take a Tums. I really try and save that for when the heartburn's intense. I try to only take one Tums a day, if that. Like, I really am trying not to do medication. Like, obviously, you can take Tums while pregnant. It literally says, if you're pregnant, don't consume more than 6 and 24 hours. But I try not to even consume one. I try and just, you know, toughen it out. But anyways, but what I did know him from, even though I didn't know him at the time, but I liked him, obviously, because I love the movie Grindhouse. 
didn't know anything about me. My Quentin Tarantino, like my social media presence started with the movie Grindhouse. I was Grindhouse Barbie on MySpace. You could Google it. That's how I met, you know, Eli Roth and Quentin Tarantino. That's how, like, that was like my obsession at the time in 2006 or 2007 or whenever that movie came out. 2007 it came out. Of course I know that. So like Grindhouse, he did so much, Quentin Tarantino did so much like promotion and press for it. So I was at San Diego Comic-Con. I was at his movie theater in LA. I was at the Virgin Atlanta record signings. I was going backstage at Jimmy Kimmel. Like I was just everywhere he was promoting it. <laughs> we should get in hindsight. It's, good. it's like, it's like not weird, but like I can see how it is weird. You know what I mean? Like if I had a super fan, like show up everywhere, like I don't think it's weird as long as you're not being weird. Like if you're like weird, like showing up to my house or something. Okay. Yeah. But if you're showing up to these events, that means you're like a really big supporter. Like I wouldn't think that was weird, but I could also see how that could be perceived weird, especially guys with like girl fans. They probably think it's like a dirty Diana situation. Michael Jackson, you know, like you'll never make me stay. So keep your hands off of me. I've been here times before, but I was too blind to see that you seduce every man. This time you won't seduce me. You know? <laughs> so I could like see how maybe he could think that. Anyways, he was always really nice to me, by the way. Quentin Tarantino will always remain the nicest celebrity, in my opinion, in my handbook. Every time I saw him, because obviously after a while, he starts to recognize me, and he was always super, super nice, and always, like, said hi, because, you know, he's on the go. He's, people are always coming up to him. He's like, you know, they want a picture. He's like, how about a handshake? You know, just, of course, how you are when you're busy, you know, and everyone is going to come up to you. You got to just keep it moving. But he always would take the time and say hi and, like, give me a hug and stuff like that. And my mom, too. I remember him specifically giving my mom a hug at this movie screening we were at. And that was really cool, because he, like, didn't do that with everyone, and it was really nice. So, he'll always be the nicest, very just just nice and it was like that everyone always thinks like I dated him I've never once said that or it's anyway I've always said I was a fan like um that's it I've always just been a fan and I always just will be a fan and that's that's all I want like I said sometimes you know like I've dated like Z-list celebrities or whatever D-list celebrities you know what they're celebrities I'm not gonna even take that away but you know people who are maybe not A-list I'm not dating Brad Pitt over here but I dated people who've been on tv shows and even like, the, and I say D list because I'm saying like the smaller scale actors that who are like, oh yeah, I think I've seen that guy somewhere. Like even those people, they have such big egos. There's such temptation. They cheat. They're they they think they're like above you. They're manipulate. You know the ones I've dated. So I stopped dating actors a long time ago for that reason and seeking them out. And I actually had like I don't know what year was it 2019 maybe. Like I actually had a couple of celebs like slip like slip through the DMs. I guess more so email like some actually some kind of big ones like a really big singer I got like went out to his concert on the east coast like they kind of like was into it you know what I mean they're older which I you know I like older guys but I always was very no as I was older when I was younger I was like yes because I just like knew the hurt that came with like someone being famous someone flying you out someone you know what I mean like anyways I found my prince his name is Moses, Prince of Egypt. Um, and I'm so happy it worked out that way. But mm, that's not to say that the fangirl in me hasn't gone away. I'll see an actor. Um, and I had this with certain girls, but girls are more like, um, like Margot Robbie is definitely like oh, my number one, like oh, the new Barbie girl movie. I'm like, oh. But she's been my number one for so long. I've cosplayed her like so many times. Once upon a time in Hollywood, I did a whole music video cosplaying as Sharon Tate, as, or Margot Robbie as Sharon Tate. I did a music video where I was her in Wolf of Wall Street. Um, I think there was another time I cosplayed I just love her so many she's just gorgeous um and then like I do I do try and find things that they were in when I was younger it was Juliette Lewis and Winona Ryder I really really liked them I used to watch everything they do the bands they were in I think they were so cool and then I mean you guys know Pamela Anderson like I really wanted to go see her in Chicago for my birthday but the mask mandate's still going which you know is good and obviously I'm pregnant and I just, I just can't sit through a show with a mask on. Like, I will wear a mask anywhere else, but I did it once in Vegas last year when they still required masks, and it was so awful. Like, I couldn't breathe, and it's hard for me to breathe now. So, we ended up not going. We really thought about going to New York. I really wanted to see Beetlejuice. I wanted to see the music band, and I really wanted to see Pamela Anderson in Chicago because she's been, like, an obsession of mine forever. And um, it just didn't work out because, obviously, I'm pregnant, and also they require masks still and I just was like I can't sit through a thing and just like you know um I understand it's like obviously for safety but yeah um but other than that there's been a cop following me this whole time and I had no idea um yeah and then of course Britney Spears Anna Nicole so my girl crushes I guess are more like personality based usually and my guy actor obsessions are usually more like role based you know based on their roles um so my new one is Nami Andrews and um 
There's the police. Uh. <laughs> Literally followed me the way he turned. You know when the police follows you and you know you're not doing anything wrong, but you're like, I feel like I'm gonna get pulled over. That's what I thought. So, all that to say, I have a headache now. I need to really drink water between the heartburn and the nausea. I'm like, okay, I need to get it. So that's it. It's heartburn. Ah, <gasps> uh, it burned. <laughs> Like I said, this is the worst of my pregnancy symptoms, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> but it's severe. It is a bad one. Um, yeah. And like I said, I have a really cool husband that's just always very cool. And knows that they're phases. I literally am going through phases all the time. Like I said, sometimes they stick around, but usually it's a phase. And some last longer than others, like if, you know, they're short-lived or whatever, but... I guess that's it. I don't know. I'm tired now. I want to. I need to go take a shower and wake up. That's my morning routine as an influencer. 